just a forest burning. This is almost a cemetery because all you can see is dead. The planet's climate has constantly been changing over geological time with significant fluctuation of global average temperatures. However, this current period of warming is occurring more rapidly than any past events. Since the Industrial Revolution began in about 1750, CO2 levels have risen more than 30%. The concentration of CO2 in the atmosphere is higher than any time in at least 800,000 years. In the midst of this environmental issue, the body shop emerged by promoting green business and constantly exploring ways to run the business in a more environmentally sustainable way. All of the products became 100% vegetarian. They bring values to help protect the earth by using environmentally friendly and sustainable raw materials, defend human rights, activate self-esteem, support fair trade at reasonable wage through the community trade program, and ensure all the products are free from animal testing. This against animal testing campaign helps to achieve SDGs number 12. In 2015, the body shop continued an impressive decline in their store CO2 emissions, which use low energy LED lighting and more recycled materials. This proves that the body shop is committed to the environment. Not only claiming that the body shop products are 100% vegetarian, it turns out that the body shop packaging is Forest Stewardship Council certified and is ensured that the product's packaging comes from the responsible managed forests that provide environmental, social, and economic benefits. This is a plus point for the niche market. The Body Shop is a pioneer of natural cosmetic company that has implemented green marketing since the Body Shop was first opened on March 27, 1976 at Kensington Garden, Brighton, England. Anita Roddick founded the Body Shop as a cosmetic business full of social responsibility and environmental awareness. Anita Roddick directs business in the three pillars, which are profit, people, and planet. But is the Body Shop's values and green marketing successful in Indonesia? According to research, there is the effect of green marketing which is done on consumer behavior that is equal to 63.8%. In 2019, some of the Body Shop's products were in the top brand position based on the result of a survey conducted by Frontier Consulting Group. The top brand award is based on three parameters obtained from direct survey results to customer of a product, namely top of mind brand awareness, last usage, and future intention. The results show that the Body Shop is the best choice for Indonesian consumer. However, according to a survey conducted by Zap Clinic 3 and Mark Plus Inc., the Body Shop ranked third in controlling the beauty market by 5.5%. Consumers live in a complex environment. Their decision process is influenced by culture, social class, personal influence, family, and situation. The success of green marketing at the Body Shop cannot be fully controlled by the company but it also determined by consumer behavior in the response given by deciding whether or not to consume the product. Green marketing which includes green products, green price, Green place and green promotion is aimed at a market that is for those who are concerned about the concept of green. Based on Ted Trapak's Index 2019 research conducted by Ipsos, it is stated that 59% of Indonesians are aware of environmental issues, but only 40% are taking action. In line with this research, the Body Shop's green marketing strategy will only succeed if consumers have high level of awareness of environmental issue. Well. What do you think? 
Has the body shop green marketing been successful or failed?